It has been a while. Time does keep going. I have this world and so much I want to do, but where do you start? Where do you start? I would like to terraform this whole hillside from the warehouse to the sheep farm stable. And that is what we're going to do. We have made a start and some of it is already done, as you can see. Just round this tower a bit. And this is what we're going for here to add more to it so it's not just all white. But we do need to keep it very snowy. And there is a stairway here which will be a path leading up to the main tower on top of the frozen hill. I'm not going to worry about that though for the moment. So I have been up to stuff. But there is also still some distractions going on. There is a new build here. It has a tree farm in it. It does most trees. And I have it set up so it feeds the composters to make more bone meal. Would still like to make a mini moss farm here to produce more bone meal while it's running. And try to make this completely self-sustainable. Because it does go through bone meal so quickly. And let's get a view of this again because we have some towers. A tower on top which still needs a roof. But also we have these two cooling towers with the smokestacks bellowing out of them. At the moment I look to improve on what is already there with better shape and flow. And then we can add stone to certain areas. Like parts where everything is steep. Or at sharp transitional points. Sometimes it's just good to add stony parts for a bit of change and variety. We can put one here. And I'll go up in one long streak. And keep checking to make sure it looks alright to the eye. Does it look natural and have good flow? And this part here is the transitional point between the snowy mountain and the hill. For a bit of texture we can add andesite to all the stone areas in small patches. And across the hill we can add coarse dirt. There is a decision to be made with how to use different blocks and where. For this I want to have coarse dirt around the stony areas. And I might add a few patches randomly. On the snow mountains stone has been used in areas I wanted steep. But also in patches that need to be more solid and supported. But also we can make use of the snow to appear collapsed and landslide in between gaps. All about deciding how to use blocks and why. And then being consistent with their purpose. Actually I've done something differently. Instead let's siphon bone meal from this bigger moss farm all the way to the tree farm. I don't see why not. It's all hooked up and tested now. And it works great. I've created a dirt pathway up the hill and added a few more rocky areas. Some fences. The trees are good for filling in space and adding more life to terrain. Up here is a big wheat field and the pathway leads to the tree farm. Here's how it looks then. So much better. And this is how I terraform. A lot of what I do is inspired by what is expected. But there is so much more out there. And more must be done. I know I can do better. I would like to develop new methods and techniques. And try different styles. Create more unique or unusual maybe. Still plenty to do. Plenty to finish. But the progress so far is great. I don't know what I'm waiting for.